the maxim everyone helps those who help themselves is the story of the community development association we visited on today's episode initially known as god first tenants and landlords association before morphing into her community development association maintaining same name nothing like god you cannot do anything without god that's why when we gathered ourselves together they asked which name are we going to give our landlord association then we mentioned god first and our motto is in god we trust because if you trust in the lord you will do everything in open minded before modernity came god first community can hardly boast of a hundred inhabitant but the storyline has changed through communal effort a more larger community is growing the need for more amenities is now evident i came here in 1998 precisely and um, this is the only house in this area i used to trek inside bush down to the main road during the flood i will carry my uniform put inside nylon bag i put it on my head and trek to the main road i would dress up at the main road when we came here no water nothing nothing no light once it is 7 o'clock you can't go out god first community development association is sandwiched between owodi oniri and the popular my 12 market on the left along ikorodu road explaining the presence of people with diverse culture and occupation until recently the community was characterized with bad roads epileptic power supply security mishaps and other societal challenges resident says the whole situation was unpalatable and it slows down the growth and commercial activities of the area when i moved in here it's, it's so hectic i have to be factual because we have no road there is no light but gradually we we the estate joined hands together all the landlord we began to do something bi odun meta se mo tu kokun le koja lori bi bayi ni pe 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 ko si covert ni bi bayi agbara oju omi ni bi bayi bo igbin oju ani pe ta ba se kini opolopo mo tu wa le se kini a le koja sinu but for deliberate effort and strong will of these leaders god force now wear itself modern look with modern buildings replacing chanties and hot like structures of the day this transformer that you see was given to us by that time we are only unity estate cda and we have three phases god first phase 1 then phase 2 unity and phase 3 we all combine and have one cda so we put that transformer at the center so that it will go to the left and go to the right and we have been maintaining that transformer ever since we know the type of soil we have here that's why we didn't use wooden pole so we buy concrete poles and they erect it for us we buy cables real rim of cables we bought it and they fix it for us we pay the phn that come to do it for us if anything happens with that transformer it is the community that repairs it before now if you get to the main road you see a mobile filling station hmm? the whole of this community connected to the grid from that mobile filling station so we have to tap light from one house to the other sometimes the light you cannot you could not even see the your nose in the night when you put on the light so now you can see poles you can see wire everything you can see here was a communal effort for local lo nri na ele pe kini ohun le lo mi fin survive le ni te pe oko won ti ja te pon wa anu le my 12 sumo bi bai opolopo tun ta mineral nitori pe kini na i an ri na i lo dada won se blocks te pe awon yawo wa opolopo won wa won wa nku won wa nku lo opolopo tun ta won ja to ni ro mo ina ina i really o really e pu agan so an je ki nkan kan se bo se wa bo se je pe an re manage 
car owners revealed that they now heave a sigh of relief following the repair work done on the major road that connects the CDA with other communities in the environs. Community has put more, much effort so that you can access the road and get your house. It seems the prayer will no longer be soon, but now. Recently, when Mr. Akiumi Ambode, the governor of Lake State, announced plans to partner with CDAs to initiate 250 community-oriented projects, God first made the list. Reactions traced his announcement. I'm very, very grateful. Very, very. is is an is 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 long overdue uh, uh, expectation that this road, if this road could be fixed, at least it will ease the burden of the community. Lagos State Government, by coming down to this estate, God's first CDA and the rest of the city in this community, we appreciate them. Thank God for, for government to really allocate this road to be one of the roads that we construct. Because all activities without this road, no man can access here with vehicle. At times, children going to school, you see parents, to carry them with their shoulder to move from one point to another. But if this road is done as the government of Lagos State is trying to do it, it will be of things of elevation and even boost the economic importance of this estate. The community leaders also want the Ministry of Physical Planning to come to the raid and address the lingering land encroachment the community has been contending with, amongst other range of issues. We people living here and people living the next exit, like the progress and unity, cannot access here if a truck stops here. Why the government has given this road about 45 feet, but if you can check from this wall to this wall, you can see whether it's up to 45 feet. People are now reducing the road. We have written to the environment, we have written to the tax force, but we are referred back that the fiscal planning will take charge of that. The government cannot provide everything for the citizen because uh, what the government is getting to might not be enough for everybody to share. There is a need for the individual, the corporate organization, the individual to come together to assist the government. 